We need to do something. Governor Greg Abbott, please help us. Help the families in your state that need to have food security. That's what the program is in place for. A Burleson County mother turns to KBTX after she says scammers drained her SNAP benefits account not once, but three times. That's despite taking her concerns to the state, getting a replacement card, changing PIN numbers, and locking her card. She has tried everything, and now she's sharing her story with News 3's Donnie Tuggle. Georgette Papa Medetrius makes a monthly 23-mile trip from Caldwell to Bryant to save on groceries. The mother of two receives just over $500 in SNAP benefits to feed her family. However, last month's trip didn't go as planned. I ran my card. It didn't work. I ran my card. It didn't work. I went on the app, and it showed I only had $25 left. It's an experience she says no one should go through. I wasn't able to get my groceries. I had to put my whole Thanksgiving dinner back, my whole food for the month back. It was very embarrassing. I left in tears, didn't understand what was going on. Papa Demetria says she went to the benefits office in Bryan where they replaced her card and eventually gave her a refund. They told her to change her pen, freeze her card when not in use, but earlier this week the thieves struck again and the state says they can't help her a third time. HHS could not speak to us about this specific case but blames issues like these on what's called skimming. This happens when unauthorized users are able to obtain both card and PIN numbers either through an illegal device on a card reader or online. It's a problem feeding Texas. The largest hunger relief organization in the state says further complicates food insecurity. No one likes to get scammed and defrauded, but for, for families participating in SNAP, obviously they're already working to um, you know, stretch limited resources for food. So it can be a real blow to, to wake up and find that someone's stolen SNAP benefits off your card. Papa Demetrius says she just wants the state to do what's fair and work harder to fix the problem once and for all. I wish they would be more compassionate in understanding our frustration because it's really scary when you're worried about how you're going to feed your children to tell me you can't keep reimbursing me when they keep getting stolen. So what do you expect families to do? Donnie Tuggle, News 3. The state told us today that they are looking into the issue and hope to have a response tomorrow. The man's in 